There's nothing quite like a good Caesar salad, so I thought why not put it in a sandwich as well so you get that crusty bread on the outside and then everything in the center. Let's get straight into it. Starting out with the longest step first, we're going to need 200 grams of streaky bacon. You can also use back bacon if you prefer. Place this onto a baking tray and then into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 12 to 13 minutes or until done to how you like it. In the meantime, we'll make our Caesar dressing. Crack two eggs into a tall jar or container, along with one tablespoon or about 20 grams of Dijon mustard, one clove of freshly peeled garlic that's been crushed, about five anchovy fillets that have been drained from any oil, a little bit of oil in there is completely fine too, and then just squeeze in the juice from one quarter of a lemon. To bind this all together, we're going to need some vegetable oil or any neutral flavoured oil. I'm using 130 milliliters, along with a nice big pinch of salt. Then get in there with an immersion blender and just blend this up until it emulsifies, creating those fat bonds to come together. And it should look like a mayonnaise and it's quite thin at this stage, but we will be thickening it up. And you can also leave it in the container that you've blended it in or transfer it over to a bowl. Once you have that done, we can then grate in 30 grams of Parmesan cheese or Parmigiano Reggiano. This is going to thicken it up and really create a delicious flavor, along with about 20 cracks of black pepper. Get in there with a whisk or a spatula and just mix everything together. You'll notice that this is a lot thicker now. All of those flavors have become friends. We can just put this in the fridge until we're ready to serve. The next step of this recipe is two large chicken breasts. I've just removed any excess fat. We're going to butterfly these by slicing them in half, opening them up, and then we can slice straight through the center to create two even fillets or four fillets total. Add the sliced chicken to a bowl and we're going to season this with one teaspoon or two and a half grams of both onion and garlic powder, a nice big pinch of salt as well as 20 cracks of black pepper, one tablespoon of olive oil, then get in there with clean hands, a glove, forks, tongs, whatever you need and just mix this around until everything's evenly combined. Just before we get cooking, I am using two baby cos lettuce, also known as romaine. Just shred this up and then we're going to wash this just by putting it in a strainer and rinsing it under cold water. After 12 to 13 minutes and your bacon's done to your liking, if you need it to be in there longer, that's completely fine. Just remove it and allow it to rest. Then we're going to place a large pan over medium high heat. I use hex clad pans. I get a lot of questions about what pans I am using. They're a stainless steel and non-stick and this isn't sponsored or anything. So if hex clad is watching, hit me up with an email, but we're going to place this over a medium high heat. Add in one tablespoon of olive oil, add in the chicken and then just sear this for about three and a half to four minutes, just until you have that beautiful golden sear. Flip them over, repeat that same three and a half to four minutes on the opposite side to get the golden sear again. And we want an internal temperature of about 72 degrees Celsius. Timings will vary depending on the size of your chicken, so just keep an eye out for that, but it is good to go off temperature. Usually in a Caesar salad, there is crouton, so we're going to swap that out for a crusty white roll. You can use any bread of your choice right here, and we're going to slice this in half, and you can also toast them or leave them fresh. Now for this recipe, I am doing something a little bit different. I've been seeing a whole load of trends going around where you see chopped salads. Everything's just placed into a pile and then chopped together. So we're going to try it out on this one. I added the lettuce, the bacon, and the chicken all together on the chopping board, and then just go hard with a knife and chop this all up into small bite-sized pieces. Once you have that done, transfer it into a bowl. Then we can add in three quarters of that Caesar dressing and then just mix this all together until everything is coated in that delicious sauce. Test if seasoning, adjust if necessary. It shouldn't need any more salt, but it can always add a little bit more cracked black pepper. And you should have something that looks like this. Whether you toasted the buns or left them fresh, we can then add on the remaining Caesar dressing onto each top and bottom of those buns. Add in that chopped up Caesar salad, stack it nice and high. These are designed to be quite filling. Great over some more Parmesan cheese. I added quite a bit here because why not? Everybody loves cheese. Also hitting it up with some cracked black pepper. Then we can place on that top bun and we're left with this chopped Caesar salad roll. And is it another pointless trend? It is a little bit, yes. You can just make these regularly by stacking everything together, but it's completely up to you. Once you have everything done, there is only one thing left to do, and that is, of course, we can then dig in. 